If you haven't watched the Fuse video, please do that now. Towards the end I explain what I mean by loop edges in the context of mesh machine, and what projected loops are. Basically, loop edges are edges, connected to chamfer sweeps, and they determine how the sweep edges of a fuse surface will be oriented. In this example you can see, how the angle of the loop edge, produces an S-curve in the center sweep of the fuse surface. If you now mark that loop edge, using the mark loop tool, the resulting fuse surface will ignore the loop edge and instead create an implicit one, called a projected loop. If you set the fuse tool to use projected loops, you will get the same result. Understand however, that doing this means, projected loops are used globally, everywhere. It's an override, whereas the mark loop tool provides individual, per edge control. So, with an loop edge present, and that edge being marked, the fuse tool will ignore that edge and instead create an implicit projected loop. I'm now adding a second edge, and am angling it in a way that's more in line with the chamfer sweep edge. The result is, Fuse prefers the new edge to guide the sweep edges. If I now mark the original loop edge, then this one will be preferred instead. If I additionally mark the second loop edge, then both will be ignored. With projected loops enabled, the behavior is the same as if both loop edges are excluded using the mark loop tool. And finally, if I remove both loop edges, toggling projected loop has no effect, because without loop edges present, an implicit projected loop will be created in any case. So, to sum this up, the mark loop tool can be used to exclude loop edges. And it can also be used to force a single, specific loop edge to be used, if there are multiple loop edges present. In a future release, this tool will likely be removed and instead the fuse tool will be extended with custom manipulators, allowing for individual control over loop edges and more.